This morning, scientists in South Africa are presenting newly discovered fossils they say are from the human family tree. The fossils were found in remote caves near Johannesburg. The discovery is raising some questions about whether another human-like species roamed the Earth. Deborah Pata is in Johannesburg to show us the dangerous efforts to, to recover the fossils. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. The area where the fossils were found is one of the most explored sites in Africa for human origins. Paleoanthropologists thought they'd found everything there was to find there. Turns out they were wrong. It was a treacherous journey to recover these fossils. Some fossils there. These women were hired Hello. because they were small enough and skinny enough to slip between a narrow warren of caves at the cradle of humankind just outside Johannesburg. Is that bone or, or the man who directed the operation was renowned American paleoanthropologist Lee Berger. The operation itself was outrageously dangerous. Just because no one died um, speaks more to our preparation than it does to the danger. Squeezing through seven and a half inch cracks, the team of cavers worked in conditions of 99% humidity. It was dark and claustrophobic as they hunched down to do their work. Berger has named the fossils Homo naledi, which means star in the local Sutu language, and he claims it is a new species of human relative. It's got a tiny head, an ape-like body, but arms and legs that are very, very human-like, something completely unexpected. And we found it in incredible abundance. Berger says he's identified the remains of 15 fossils, but here's what's important. He believes they were deliberately disposing of their dead in this underground chamber. Although Homo naledi is not human, Berger says, it appears to be practicing something that is uniquely human. And my discovery turns science on its head. That discovery was fraught with tension. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> that they're going to fall apart as soon as I try and take them out in earnest. I don't want to breathe for her. <laughs> it took just 21 days to excavate the first area of this rocky terrain. Is, is that two together? Um, it's at least one and a half. One and a half vertebrae are actually in articulation, the way they were in anatomical position in the body. Thank you so much. It's yeah. Great work. Beautiful job. Berger is not without his critics. Some believe he's been too quick to describe this as a deliberate burial site. A collection of fossils like this. Fellow yeah. paleoanthropologist yeah. Bernard Wood, who is familiar are. with Berger's yeah. findings, yeah. says in the absence of information on how old the species is, it makes it difficult to reach this conclusion. I'm respectful of the material that they found and I'm respectful of the efforts they made to recover it, but I'm extremely skeptical of about the interpretation. <laughs> but Berger is convinced his team have done more than enough to prove their theory and that this Bags is an achievement <laughs> worth celebrating. Fantastic, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Berger admits he is unable to date the fossils, but he is unapologetic about his findings. He argues this is science after all, and his conclusion is merely a hypothesis, but it's one he's sticking to until proven otherwise. Gail? Very fascinating stuff. Thank you very much, Deborah.